the way the economy is shifting, the access to technology, the access to broadband, the access to the, the fiber optic connectivity are giving towns and places like Lurgan choice, choices that they've never had before. It's also giving young, you're also giving young people uh, choices that they've never had before um, to seek gainful employment, to develop their own skills and develop their own potential. And I think that's, that's an incredibly important thing because the economy is shifting and changing. And what's going on, it's no longer going to a factory or a office center to work. You can work anywhere now. You can do things anywhere. Northern Ireland is blessed to be undergirded through Project Kelvin with the best fiber optic connectivity in, in Europe uh, right now. And some places are just starting to realize that. Um, in Belfast, they just inaugurated recently the first office park anywhere in Europe that has uh, 10 gig connectivity. And I'll let the, the IT folks just tell you what 10 gig, it's a lot of, it's a, you know, if you were, it's like, you know, the difference between a piece of dental floss and a, and a giant sewer pipe in terms of the amount of information that, that, can, that can flow through. Uh, and basically what it allows, particularly in these industries that you're focused in here, in gaming, in digital uh, media production, it allows companies anywhere, whether they could be in Belfast, they could be in Lurgan, they could be in Derry, to work in real time with their counterparts in California. Real time, no latency. Okay, so this is opening up a whole new world, and I think if you look at um, the economic development strategies that are being put forth in Stormont and elsewhere, they've identified these sectors in creative industries, film, uh, other kinds of media production, gaming, you know, as key sectors that are going to drive this economy going forward. And again, we're not making this up. This isn't in theory; it's already happening. So if people be familiar with Dark Water Studios, they'd be familiar with some of the other things that are going on out that are out there. They're highly successful. And companies like Omnisoft that are doing things that you couldn't do here 10 or 15 years ago. And I regularly have conversations, and I've had a chance to discuss this with some of the folks this morning, about where is the future in terms of skills. And, the, and the, the term skills has come up in both of these videos as well. The future is not about degrees. It's not about where you went to school. It's not about, it's about what skills you have. Okay, and we're seeing that already. I've had conversations with some of the top uh, business people in Northern Ireland, some of the top business people in Ireland, and the UK more broadly speaking. And to, for them, it's all about skills. They don't care where you got them, or how you got them, or where you went to school, or what degree, or whatever else. It's about, can you do the job? Can you apply the technology that's being used? And technology is growing so quickly, exponentially, um, that they need the kind of people with the savvy that wherever you develop that savvy, but you're able to, to access and deal with that technology. And these businesses aren't necessarily just going to universities and taking all their engineering graduates out and putting them, they're going into the high schools, they're going in anywhere they can find folks that have the degree of aptitude and have the desire um, to want to operate in these fields. I have a, a friend up in Belfast, he was one of the, he was one of the top 3D uh, animators in the world, worked for George Lucas and Steven Spielberg for 15, 20 years, um, based in California, a guy Greg McGuire, he's back now and he's got a chair at the University of Ulster in Belfast, and he's doing 3D digital animation projects. I mean, people don't realize this is going on right now, and Steven Spielberg is calling him up on the phone and saying, look, we've got another thing going. A new, new Harry Potter film, Avatar, you name it. These things are happening. People here on the ground are doing this right now, okay? And that, that, these, these areas are expanding, and the opportunities are limitless. So the key is, how do we facilitate that? How do we make sure that the young people that have those, that have that potential, regardless of their socioeconomic situation, regardless of their educational background, you know, how they have access to those opportunities. So I think what you're doing here goes a long way to addressing that. And again, I think it's great to see the people that are in the room as well, because it is about joined up work. It's about bringing government. It's about bringing the social development agencies. It's about bringing private sector companies and, and just private citizens that are interested in, in making this a better place to live and work. So I think we have opportunities now. We have choices that we've never had before. And you know, we need to make sure that we facilitate those choices. So a place like Lurgan has a, a vibrant trading history. You've got a beautiful town square down here. You know, you, there's so much that can be done, it, but you need people to be able to live and work here and see their futures here. And I think that's part of the reason where technology comes in is that you can make a life for yourself and your family. You can do what you need to do without having to go abroad or without having to go away, okay? You can do it right here at home. You can do it in Lurgan. And again, all that economic activity, those incomes that come in from that, feed right back into the town and make this a better place for people to live. So, um, and again, you know, this technology, these initiatives, they don't know any sectarian borders, they don't know any uh, community backgrounds. You know, this is, this is egalitarianism at its best in terms of people getting together um, that have an interest in making things better. So from the U.S. Consulate standpoint, 
in, in Belfast. That's why we're always happy to get out, come down to places like Lurgan that are making the choices to move things forward and doing it in innovative ways. And I bet you, you know, once, as this continues to move forward, a lot of people in a lot of different corners of this island are going to be interested in what you're doing here. Okay? And I think it's really important. Oftentimes I find that I've been here almost three years now, and I, I go around and I see amazing things being done. Uh, you know, people really plugging away, innovating, doing, doing some wonderful things. And then I go to the next town or the next part of the city and say, did you hear about that? Yeah. Never heard about it. Okay, so I think it's incumbent upon everybody here, too, to make sure that everybody knows what's going on here. And it's not because people are trying to hide it, necessarily, although some may be. Um, but it has more to do with the fact that everybody's got their head down, they got their shoulder to the wheel, and they're working hard because the challenges are hard. All right, so you did, sometimes, though, I just want to encourage everybody to lift your head up a little bit, you know, from your work, and say, who else needs to know about this? Because I think there are a lot of potential partners out there. I think there are a lot of other opportunities um, where you could dovetail. You know, there are things coming in, for example, uh, Ashton Center, a community development organization in North Belfast. They've been working with MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, to bring the Fab Labs concept yeah. to Northern Ireland. Okay? And this is using digital design, using software, open innovation architecture in working class areas, in places where people wouldn't have access to that technology, and having people come in and be able and design and build and then produce and eventually manufacture and market new innovative products. This is something that's been rolled out across the United States and other parts of the world. It's coming here. Are there opportunities for you guys to somehow work with those kinds of projects that are going forward? And again, you're leading by example. Omnisoft is leading by example. You know, it's a socially responsible company. There's a lot of other companies out there that could learn from, take your lead and learn from your example. So let's make sure that, that, that people find out about it. Make sure business in the community knows about it. Make sure that others that are out there are aware of what's going on here. And I think it's a great thing for the Borough Council and others to highlight that this is happening on the ground. We'll do our bit as well. And that's one thing that, that hopefully we can bring to the, uh, to the equation in addition to encouragement is a bit of networking as well, but also to get out and tell people that, hey, I was down on a beautiful sunny day in Lurgan last week and had a chance to see a really innovative project moving forward. Some bright young people that are interest, interested in technology and they're going to make a difference in the community. So um, all I can offer is encouragement and I really appreciate the opportunity to come down and see what's going on on the ground here. Please stay in touch with us. Ask us, you know, if we can be of assistance in any way. You know, come up and see us in Belfast as well as the, as the process develops because we want to make sure that you have access to our network uh, as well and we want to make sure that others find out about what you're doing here on the ground. We both wanted to change how young people are perceived. Change the idea that people can achieve great things no matter what their background, what their heritage or what education they've had. Um, that it's not limited to the fact that you have a degree or any type of, any type of background in, in particular that, that it's going to say where you're going to end up in life. And we believe that to give people the opportunity to actually see the skills they even already have was an important factor in what we were doing. Um, it's probably almost little known fact from people you, maybe if you don't go around the world or anything and such like that, that Really here we have that great IT infrastructure. You don't notice it when it's in your own backyard. You don't notice what access you have to Facebook, to Twitter, to all these various social mediums as well. And you tend to overlook those skills. You tend to think, well, I'm using Twitter every day or Facebook. And I've built up a series of skills that I use when I'm in interacting in that, form, in that sort of form. Um, equally, where we used to use a telephone, we probably developed great telephone skills and were able to resonantly communicate again with people across the world using that sort of medium. A lot of people around the world don't have that. A lot of individuals around the world don't have access to these technologies. And it does give us quite an advantage, which again, we're not totally aware of. Um, we hope that we can help people make use of that advantage and see the potential in both where they're at or where they're placed here in Lurgan, as well as um, using their own skills and their own background, just the fact that they've interacted with technology since maybe a young age, and that's something that we think we can build on mm. using Game to Change. That includes anything from interacting on Facebook up to, we're talking about developing games and such like, which are skills which generally need to be developed, but equally something that I think many people can achieve. Um, from, from, I suppose, where this project starts out, I think we all believe this can be a, a huge change for Lurgan uh, locally. Um, I think we have a model for development in other areas. Um, we, we do believe that it's a massive opportunity and fully intend to make sure that everyone involved in the project at this stage 
uh, gets due reward, duly rewarded for what, what they've been involved in and what they've created here. We wanted to look at how can we improve Lurgan? How, what can we do for Lurgan on the other side of things? It's all right letting them go up to Bangor, but we want to improve our own town. We want our students to stay in our own town and work in our own town. So the next thing we did was we tried to bombard Mr. Omnisoft here with come to Lurgan, come to Lurgan. I love Lurgan. So um, thankfully we were able to establish that and very quick turnaround all on D's hard work and we opened early January. Money talks. Money talks. We opened early January and like I say it's early days yet for where this is going to go but I'm thankful for everyone that's came here today. You can see the breadth of people that are here and you can see that we are really, really, really trying to regenerate this town, give jobs to our youth and really establish a better place for all to live and work in. Um, we recently had an a ATI inspection, which is our edu Education and Training Inspectorate, and this is the quote out of the report. An innovative partnership which provides a unique approach for trainees to acquire game design and website development skills through challenging workplace activities. What more can you say? I want to thank you all, and especially I want to thank the trainees. Without them, it doesn't take place.